This is the video that has got a lot of attention, showing the opposition candidate Svetlana Tikhonovskaya appearing to tell her supporters that they should recognize her opponent, Alexander Lukashenko, as the people's choice for president, going on to urge citizens to stay off the streets and avoid bloodshed. But there are growing claims that the words behind this video are not genuine and it was filmed under duress. These first appeared on the popular messaging app Telegram, one of the few that has not been affected by those recent internet outages in Belarus. This user claiming that that video was filmed inside the office of the chairwoman of the Electoral Commission in Minsk. These claims also published on Twitter today by the Eurasia Center for the Atlantic Council, again suggesting similarities. And on top of this, our colleague Naira at Euronews' Russian service has spoken with Maria Kolesnikova, who is a campaign manager for another opposition candidate. Over the phone, she told Euronews that that video that you saw there of Svetlana Tikhonovskaya, well, she was filmed going into the offices of that electoral commission with high-ranking enforcement officers, and she was kept there for a number of hours without any lawyer and without any documents. But what more have we in the queue been able to tell about that video? Well, my colleague Shauna can tell you more. Well, the screenshots that were shared on Telegram, they compared the Electoral Commission office to that video of Svetlana, and they were trying to see whether that was taken within those headquarters. So what we did in the Cube, we went back to see if we could find any sort of videos on YouTube which showed that set office. So this is an interview with the head of the Electoral Commission back in 2019, and we tried to take some identifi identifiable markers from this video, comparing it to the video of Svetlana. And this is what we found. You can see here, uh, just taking a look at the furniture here, for example, they match. The blinds here, they also match. The wooden, uh, the wooden background, again, matching, comparing the video of Svetlana to the video of the Electoral Commission, that interview back in 2019. We wanted to firm up that this was indeed the headquarters of the head of the Electoral Commission. So we compared the video of 2019 to, um, uh, to her uh, image, her uh, profile image uh, online. And you can see, again, there are similarities here. The chair, for example, the wooden panelling. So we can firm down that this is indeed it was taken within the headquarters of the Electoral Commission. So there's many then saying that if this was indeed taken in the Electoral Commission, whether she was indeed under duress, that is the question.